Oh my god. I am so pissed off right now. Uh, why? Because I'm doing the second time. Second time commentary. And the bad part is commentary really doesn't matter. Uh, when I did the commentary, uh, I received a phone call which was so hilarious and I recorded it and but unfortunately I I took a nap while I was rendering it and next thing I know when I wake up I was like half sleep I woke up half sleep and deleted the files that I recorded from my voiceover and like like the raw file that Trout sent me by the way this is a uh, Trout's gameplay just to let you know I'll get to that in a second but let me get over this part so yeah when I wake up and I saw all those files like all kind of Sony Vegas files and I deleted them including the rendered video so yeah good job Paige I'm proud of you so anyways um the phone call was uh quite hilarious it was uh, some fucking Indian guy calling all the way from somewhere I don't know wh whatever the fuck and Oh my god, his accent. I thought my accent was funny. His accent was fucking horribly bad. It, it was really goddamn hilarious. He, he was just asking for like uh, long distance shit and whatever. And he asked me where I was, where was I from. And I told him I was from South Africa. Uh, the phone call turned out to be pretty funny. It was like a one minute conversation. And <sighs> I'm so pissed off right now. I can't believe uh, I deleted it. Oh, I was I was about to upload it, but no. Um, please make sure you rate the goddamn video, cause uh, yeah, because this is really an effort putting second time commentary into it. Anyways, uh, Trout over here, he's playing with uh, Joshua, A.K.A. Josh Syndrome, a case of downers, the big black British guy. Uh, Davies Bros, he's a fucking legend. Sam Five Thousand. Uh, Lowell Steve Lowell, the most retarded kid I ever heard of on X Xbox Live, I guess. I mean, he's really retarded, I guess. He told me that he was in mental hospital. He's a pretty cool guy. And none other than uh, Sam5000 and Paul, fucking Irish cunt, also known as Captain that. You guys heard of him, right? I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah. So... We're going to talk about, um, not Trout's gameplay, but, um, relevant to Trout's gameplay. How powerful all this kill streak stuff is. Uh, Trout uploaded a video recently, and if you guys want to go check it out, I I'm going to post a link in the sidebar. And I can't believe I watched the whole video because the things he went over with the game. It was really important for me, and I was like, wow, it really, like, got me into it, and, uh, had to make this video as, like, a reply type of video to, uh, what I have to say about it, and plus, I don't know what the fuck am I gonna do, because I cannot get a good gameplay. Uh, I don't know what to do. There's so many people out there who are putting out games like 42 and 1, and then 50 and 1, and... <laughs> I can't even get fucking 30 and 2 or whatever. I mean, I'll I'll go 30 and 8. And yeah, that's all I can do. So, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't need any tips because this is a defensive game. That I mean, I hate to be fucking staying camping in one corner or just wait on somebody to come by and so I can knife him or something. You know what I'm trying to say? Wait, I want you guys to uh, listen to this part. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but... Paul, you're, you you have a really sexy accent, man. And here's what I want you guys to do before uh, you guys watch the commentary. Pause the video right now and go on Paul's page. 
I don't know if you know him or not. I'm not going to post a link. I want to see how many of you guys actually post a comment on his profile. Uh, go, on his, go on his profile, post a comment saying, whenever you get 10,000 subscribers, I want to see your face. Paul, I really want to see your face. You must have looked like a sexy ass midget. Irish midget, should I say. I heard he's like four, four feet, two inches tall. Or something like that. I don't know. That that's what Josh told me. Is that right, Paul? I'm not sure. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing around with Paul. Paul's a cool guy. You can actually hear Paul bitching in the background. Oh, that's not only it. I don't know how many of you guys heard me screaming on top of my lungs or not. There's few of them out there uh, who already know me, like Sam and. Paul and then other guys. Oh, well, matter of fact, I heard uh, Sam screaming and shit on his fucking TV today. It was fucking horrible. He was trying to do uh, some kind of spec off mission. He was screaming on top of his lungs. Yeah, well, you guys are probably thinking we are, we totally sound different when we do commentary. And same with Paul. He he like go, uh, hey, what's up, guys? So uh, I was camping in there, and yeah. That that's how he sounds, and then all of a sudden when he gets on Xbox Live. He just start cussing and shit. How rude are you, Paul? I mean, seriously. Anyways, let's get to the part where uh, I was gonna talk about Trout and his uh, gameplay, or should I say, uh, kill streak. Uh, okay, so uh, Trout explained uh, in his video saying kill streak is really overpowered. Yes, it is. Why? Because if you look at it, I'm gonna give you like the simplest example what I'm trying to say and, and what Trout explained like in a scientific way okay suppose if you go in a match you go in a match with shorter kill streaks uh, like a three kill streak followed by a five kill streak uh, and a seven kill streak not seven or nine kill streak whatever either one of them and you're facing guys who are willing to get a tactical nuke which means they're gonna have to put out larger amount of kill streaks so they start out with what seven kill streak and then uh... eleven or fifteen kill streak and then last but not least a tactical nuke kill streak versus kill streak like a shorter kill streak versus a major kill streak total failure of a competition unless you, you show your pure skill which really doesn't matter because if you have shitty uh, teammates they're not gonna do shit obviously and then second uh, the guy who has a shorter kill streak uh, what he's gonna do he's gonna try to get few kills like three or four kills and he's gonna get a care package or UAV then followed by a Harrier, airstrike, whatever, and then last but not least, a chopper gunner, which is totally going to annihilate the whole damn game. And then you guys see the one of the most ridiculous score you can ever get on the team side because uh, you see everybody doing mediocre. Because if one person gets a a moment where you can get a really good kill streak in shorter amount of time, like right in the beginning of the match. You will totally like rape the shit out of that game, just like uh, Trout did over here. It's perfect example. So I, I don't know what, what makes this game so really weird. It, I don't hate it and I don't love it either. As of right now, this game is like totally mind-boggling. You just gotta play defensive in order to win. And like, and what I'm trying to say is, kill streaks actually take over the whole damn game and people are putting out lots of games that they're putting out with chopper gunners and all kind of shit and thinking that they're really good at this game but they're actually not I don't know I don't see lots lots of skill put out in this game like that but yeah that's all I have to say for right now because I covered up more stuff in the first video that I rendered than this one but uh, anyways, if you guys want to listen to Trout's commentary, whatever he said, I'll put the link at the sidebar. Go ahead and subscribe to him if you want to. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much it. And I'll see you guys next time around.